as you can hear, I had a an audio malfunction. I don't know whether I forgot to put the mic cable in the GoPro or if I just didn't get it clicked in all the way and it came out when I was putting my helmet on, but regardless, um, I did a whole hour-long vlog with me yapping and babbling away only to get home to find that I had no audio. So I thought instead of just trashing all the audio um, or all the content, I would do a narration over dub. And I know it's not the same. I don't like Moto Vlog videos where they narrate over top of it, but you know, give me a break on this one, guys, because I just it just kills me to throw all of that footage away. So cut me cut me some slack on this one, okay? I keep it short. Cause really, you know, I was just going out on a on a Sunday morning cruise. It was absolutely gorgeous, beautiful weather. Um, October 14th. 2018, Florida, Tampa Bay area. Oh man, the, the skies, as you can see, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, the temperature was right around at this time was it was like 78 um, Fahrenheit. Oh, it just it just couldn't have been a, a more fantastic day to jump on your motorcycle and hit the roads. So um, I really didn't have much of an agenda for this ride. I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, why I moto vlog. Um, why do why does anybody moto vlog, right? I mean, everybody's got very different um, styles and techniques and motorcycles and probably agendas and motivations. You know, everybody's different. Um, personally. Uh, it started off just being kind of a curiosity to see if I could do it. Um, I've been watching motor vloggers for many years now on YouTube, and I, I love watching motor vloggers. You're, if you're watching this, you're probably the same as me. That um, you know, you've got you've got your favorites that you watch, and they're they're just a lot of fun. And some of them are uh, quite popular, and they kind of morph and transition into. Um, you know, popu popular uh, personalities, if you will, almost celebrities, some of them. Um, but that was never really my motivation. My motivation was more along the lines of, hey, you know, I've, I've got this gorgeous Thruxton R. I want to share it with the world. And I get to ride year-round. I'm very fortunate to be able to ride year-round here in Florida, the sunshine state here in, in America. And... Uh, that was really my main motivation starting off. Um, and I'm still starting off. I'm still brand new at it, really. I've got like a dozen videos and I'm just growing, you know, one subscriber at a time. So my content is really aimed to the subscribers that I have. Um, of course, obviously. I'm not out here trying to, you know, think of when I get a thousand subscribers or a hundred thousand. Um, when I'm making content, when I'm planning, I sit down and I, I actually do outlines of, of different ideas that I have for upcoming content. And I'm trying to think of based on the like trends um, and the viewing trends of the videos I have, what should my next, you know, ideas be? What, where should I go? Uh, what should I show on the bike? That sort of thing. So that's really where it starts from. You know, I'm, I'm making content for the subscribers I have right now. Um, and I appreciate every single one, I tell you. Would I like to have 100? I'd love to have 100 subscribers. And yeah, it gets frustrating when you see um, uh, vloggers that aren't really into it that much, um, but maybe they know somebody that's a popular moto vlogger, so they get a they get a shout out, and the next thing you know, they've got thirty five hundred subscribers and in, in one video. 
Yeah, that's frustrating, but that's just the luck of the game. That's just how it how it rolls. So nothing you can really do there. But I'm just continuing to try to come up with ideas, try to come up with um, cool things to to talk about, cool places to go to, things to show on the bike, so that I can continue to provide you know interesting and entertaining content. Um, that said. You know, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see. If there's anything in Florida that, you know, if you want me to maybe go to a beach. There's a lot of beaches around here. Um, any places that you know of in Florida that you think would be a cool destination, let me know. If you have any questions about the bikes, um, or, or the bike rather. You know, that's one thing, talking about the viewing uh, trends. The few videos I have where I, where I actually have like destinations, they have a lot fewer views than things that are very specific to the Thruxton. Because obviously, I'm getting hits based on the bike um, and the tagging of the bike. So because I'm just starting out and I'm not very popular, you know, you're not getting just that built-in uh, audience that's going to check out every video you have so anyway let me let me know what you think give me I love hearing from you guys I love the comments um, I'm taking this typical road here that I do on Sunday it's my Sunday morning cruise road the traffic's not too heavy and uh, there's some curvy parts to it Wow I wish I was there right now it was just absolutely fantastic day so um, I also wanted to mention too speaking about moto vlogging if you're interested in moto vlogging um, I just wanted to give you a heads up about the things that I've experienced over the last year in getting my channel up and running so you know of course expect some learning curve you know you've got to you've got to get the the equipment and there's options out there. I'll let you do the research. There's plenty of videos. Um, I'm using a, a GoPro Hero 6. And um, I, I'm keeping it simple with the, with the video editing software. Um, I just use iMovie on my Mac. It's, it's basic video editing, but it's simple. It's user-friendly. And it, it produces, you know, decent, um, what I would call kind of just like, general standard videos it's nothing um, nothing too advanced like um, like premiere but you know you can, it's a great thing to, it's a great tool to get started in there's other options like that too out there um, but expect a learning curve because you've got to learn about the equipment then you've got the trial and error of actually implementing you know the equipment onto your you know you gotta get the camera hooked to your to your helmet that's a learning curve trial and error um, audio is trial and error I went through three microphones before I found one that I thought um, worked best for me and what else you gotta come up you gotta sit and you gotta plan what you want to talk about because you just can't hop on your bike and go riding a ride. Well, you could, but I think people would get bored pretty quick as if all you did was the same thing time after time. So you got to plan, come up with some ideas of different kind of mixing up your content. And then you kind of, you know, you'll have to do some proof of concepts, learn how to do it, get it up there. And it's just a great, satisfying um achievement when you can get this all put together and you edit your first video and you get it up on YouTube it goes live and you, you start getting some hits maybe even some comments you start getting some likes it feels good it's that satisfaction that hey I'm I'm sharing something that I love and I hope other people are finding an entertainment value in that too that's why I do it, right? It's it's for that reason. It's that I hope other people are getting some enjoyment out of watching this, 
maybe they're stuck in in the snow right now and they can't get out so they're kind of you know taking a ride with me vicariously through the countryside on my Thruxton R and, and they get some enjoyment out of it just like I do for their videos um, I watched one last week I watched a guy in Alaska going and he did like a 3,000 mile ride through the tundra <laughs> through the frozen tundra I can't do that I'm not going to Alaska on adventure biking going 3,000 miles in the frozen tundra <laughs> but I loved watching it it was awesome um, just like I like watching uh, suburban delinquent go eat food and I like watching uh, shade tree surgeon talking about you know the pros and cons of new Harley Davidson stuff like that so hopefully you know people are finding a little bit of enjoyment out of my channel I'm still getting started I'm still getting getting the you know working the bugs out obviously you know I've got some audio with issues on this one but so let me know if there's anything you guys um, are wanting me to to do or, or places to go in Florida um, I hope this made sense and I just wanted to let you know I appreciate every subscriber um, and keep coming back keep coming back to the two-wheel troubadour and thanks for being here